artists used the camera obscure for centuries to obtain detailed drawings by tracing the image. It wasn't until 1826 that the first real photograph was made. Joseph Misa Gorniops, who wasn't a very good artist, who was a chemist, figured out a way to save the camera obscure image without drawing it. He used a pewter plate covered with a layer of asphalt. He leave the camera by the exit and see the production of the world's first photograph. happening outside at this very moment. The origin of this device dates back to the 16th century and the time of Leonardo da Vinci, who did several studies on what he called the camera obscura, or dark chamber, where the light through a small opening or a pinhole would recreate breathtaking scenes of nature. Some people who witnessed the effect of the camera obscure believed that Vinci was in league with the devil and had created a magical machine that could reveal the past, the present, and the future. Since it shows us what's outside and will all be outside in the future, perhaps you can understand how people just coming out of the dark ages before television, movies, or electricity might have believed that the camera obscura was witchcraft. This reaction was used to the advantage of magicians at that time who startled their audiences with disembodied illusions created with the camera obscura. Some of the most intriguing illusions today are those created with holography. Holograms are lifelike three-dimensional pictures made with laser beams. Be sure to see the holograms around the walls of the chamber 